What is up? I'm currently sweating so much right now. I went and did my HIIT cardio outside today. Usually I do it on the spin bike, but I'm over here at Kyle's and he was doing his cardio outside walking. So I'm like, well, I'll just do my HIIT and do some intervals while we're walking. So I only had three um, intervals to do, but what I was doing is I was just walking and then I would find like a street that was just like straight and I would do my sprint on that, just sprint as fast as I can for 20 seconds. And that freaking killed me. I'm not used to like sprinting, um, like sprinting like that. I'm just, I'm used to like the spin bike. And um, honestly, I feel like that was harder. And I'm outside in this Florida heat and I am sweating crazy right now. I probably should have put on some sunscreen because I don't know I feel like I got some color on me but yeah just got back and I'm going to cool down for a little bit drink some water and then make some lunch now this is just a tip for you guys make sure you weigh your wraps or just weigh everything in general um, these are actually pretty accurate but with those Joseph Peter breads um, they're actually sometimes like a seven carb difference or more. If you see here, this is supposed to be 52 grams and I'm about to weigh one on my food scale. And that's actually 56 grams and it's supposed to be 52. So what I do, what I do is I do 56 divided by 52 that's how many servings it is. So I'm going to go to my wrap right here. I'm going to plug in 1.076. And yeah, it changes it. So it's actually like a one carb difference. Now that is pretty like that's pretty close. When I weigh out those like Joseph Pita wraps, one time when I did this, it was actually like a seven carb difference. So yeah, just always weigh out your wraps. Don't always just go by what it says on the label. Got some veggies here. Have 56 grams of arugula. This is literally my favorite. I'm gonna wash some romaine lettuce and throw that in there as well. Gonna have one tomato got some egg whites cooking as well I like to put black pepper on there oops black pepper and then I've been adding this like nacho cheddar stuff it doesn't have any calories in it I just use a little bit I you can find this in the popcorn section but yeah I just use like a little bit on there. Then on my wrap right there, I put some of this on. Probably gonna put this PB2 on there. And that is my omelet. Okay, so we got my salad here. Those are pop chips right there, rice cake. My omelet is underneath there somewhere. And then this wrap. What is up guys? It is the next day. It is August 10th. I've already had one cup of coffee today. I haven't had breakfast yet, but I'm about to take my Flex Core Nutritionals um, Joint Supplement. I take this every morning. It's part of my morning routine. If you're looking for a good joint supplement, I highly recommend the powder or the pill version. This is the pill version right here. I take this with the Omega. Highly recommend taking that. So yeah, Flex comes in powdered version. It also comes in pilled version. The only difference is the powdered version doesn't have the turmeric because um, it is hard to make a product, I guess, without having that like turmeric taste. So the pills do have it. I actually do feel like this works a little bit better than the powder, but I just like, 
I like the taste of this, so I'm gonna use this today. I'm like running out, only have two more scoops left. Eh. Yippee. So it's not a bad idea to be tracking your steps, wearing some type of like Fitbit or just using your phone. And yeah, just, just keeping that heat high. You know, I have a dog, so going on those walks with my dog. You know. Don't you think a huge issue with people dieting is one, they lose a lot of muscle. And I don't even want to get into nutrition because nutrition and even how you structure training is very important, obviously, but just the intensity people bring in the gym. I see some of these people train and they're just fucking pussies. Pisses me off. I don't understand how they can just, they, they just train with no intensity and then they wonder why they're not losing more weight, why they have these plateaus and fat loss. And it's because they're just, they're pussies. <laughs> you look at us. Why is it that we can get so shredded? And obviously some of it's physiological, some of it's nutrition, how we structure the training, how it's we structure the nutrition. because they're dieting, they feel that they can't like work out hard and do hard. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, like working out hard brings that conditioning and it brings that like, good burning, shredded burning. <laughs> I'll cook my oats and then I pour just like 50 grams of egg whites in there and it gives it that like fluff. So yeah, I'm gonna add the egg whites just to give it that volume. starting to get fluffy because the oats are hot. Always look the spoon. Then I'll put it in for like another supplements as I am dieting. This is a multivitamin. There's eight pills in a serving. And I take pills three times a day. This is kind of just like a nice base and foundation. I don't know. Good multivitamin. 
It's got all the stuff you would think it had, zinc, you know, magnesium, all the vitamins, vitamin D, KSM-66, some other hormone adapters. This is the joint. Seen it all. I really like the Cissus quadrangularis, whatever. Turmeric, curcumin. Also have to take eight of these a day. So, multivitamin, joint, curcumin. If so what should I do in this situation? Did that other stuff record? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's really dark, I can't even see your face. Yeah, so we're just messing around and I'm like, I'm gonna coach you through how you should do this untracked meal. And obviously we're just kidding around. She doesn't have to like take me serious, but it was funny. I'm just like, okay. So you get there and you get, you know, your glass of Pinot or some type of red wine and you make sure you don't fill up on bread. They're going to put the bread down, have like one, maybe two, because then you put oil on it and all that. So you don't want to fill up on bread. That's a terrible mistake. <laughs> Next, you got to get an appetizer. You can share it with people, but get something good. And again, nothing too fatty, nothing too much. You don't want to fill up. You know, you got, you got a long way to go. <laughs> <laughs> so get your appetizer, get your wine. Don't drink, eat too much bread, too much oil. Wow, I'm getting hungry. Just what should I get this. for my meal? Okay, and then you get another glass of wine for the meal. Mm -hmm. And I, this is what I would do for a meal. This is just my thing. I would get like lamb or some type of really fatty, like red meat. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know, just something that sounds really good and really flavorful. And then maybe I'd get like a side, it's a Italian place, a side pasta dish where it's like, you want pasta or like angel hair noodles on the side mm. and you can put cheese okay. on it. Wrap, it, wrap this up, this and is very long. A little bit of butter. <laughs> so yeah, all put right. your entree, but then maybe get some carbs on the side or just use bread and just dip all that stuff in the sauce. Oh all my right. God, that sounds so good. <laughs> okay, and we're just... stop. <laughs> So yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna go enjoy time with my mom, and my sister, because I haven't seen them or had a dinner with them in a while. I'm so jealous. So yeah. <laughs> I want some fucking food. All right.